Hey guys, so I'm going to have a look at a couple of cross-browser testing in the cloud. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what they're calling it these days, but <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and try. Oh great, let's get back to the internet. I'm going to try these three guys. So we got Sauce Labs, Browserling, Browser Stack. I'm connected this time. Um, Do, do, do. Let's just try signing up for these guys. And I'm just going to. Looks like this guy has one for open source development. And I actually might be interested in uh, developing some open source software um, using this. So I might go with that. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and try. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try the trial plan. So let's just fire that off and then create an account, free plan. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Downgrade. I guess I need to just create an account. <clears throat> Okay, so I think I've asked for an account for all of these guys. Let's see. Let's try using browser manually. At some point I'm going to want to, um, I'm going to want to SSH tunnel or reverse proxy and do all that stuff. But I just want to sort of see if I, if I can kind of get an initial experience here. Let's try a good old venerable IE6 on these guys. <clears throat> Gee, so I don't have anything staged yet. Let's uh, just try Google. See what happens. We're just trying to see how this thing works. Okay, so setting up a new browser. So this is Sauce Labs. Allocating Cloud Machine, Configuring Operating System, I like that it's logging the different things it's doing. Okay, so this definitely looks like a VM and it looks like I'm in IE6. Uh, a operating system. I don't know how this would work if this is going to, to do anything useful, but I'm just curious. Oh, <laughs> cool. So, that's kind of fun. I'm on Sauce Labs on their IE6 and I'm hitting a what's my OS site and confirming. That's fun stuff. All right, let's go over to uh, browser stack. Just the public URL. <clears throat> and to be fair, we'll do IE6. Definitely a very slick looking interface. Uh, yep, it's using Flash. So let's try that again. What's what's my operating system? Yep. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know if this is very useful to you guys. Um, at least you didn't have to enter your own account information, right? So let's see. So let's go google.com. <clears throat> and we're going to say, I'm a little confused by these versions here. So if I select, so it's selecting Firefox, selecting IE, upgrade to a paid plan to unlock versions <laughs> uh, 6, 7, and 8. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So I guess let's just try... Yeah, let's try it in 9, see what happens. Interesting that all of these guys, I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have to check my email and any confirmation. It's very low touch, low barrier to entry. So let's say what's my operating system. This feels a little more sluggish. 
<clears throat> wondering why. So I'm typing, you can't tell, but I'm typing and it's definitely I definitely feel the latency on this guy. I'm not sure why. And interestingly enough, I'm on well, hmm, I'm on IE9 um, because they locked the other ones for my free account. I could guess maybe in IE9, it's, since it's more modern, maybe it's actually taking up more resources for the VM, so it's slowing it down, or they're just slower. I don't know. Totally subjective, but I'm definitely noticing it's slower. Okay, so this is saying it's Windows. Interesting, it's Windows Server 2008. Um, OS is one. Okay, well that makes sense, right? Because I'm I'm using IE9. All right, well I guess there's really not much more to do uh, for this. I mean, <clears throat> eventually I wanted to maybe set up the SSH tunnel and, and test a local script, but that's just a very first look at these guys. You didn't have to enter your account information. I got to go back and edit this video and blur out mine. So. Maybe there will be a part two to this. We'll see.